Okay, well, welcome back. Uh, so today, instead of talking about, say, current events or politics or whatever, um, like I normally do, we're going to talk about um, social media and its impact on, like, feelings of validity and sort of, like, um, mental health and all that kind of stuff. So this topic, I got started in this because I saw this TikTok here that um, sort of asked this question about, like, the, the way that we, uh, or specifically the way that... Um, like younger people interact with social media and sort of the uh, impact, I guess, that it's going to have for the future. So let's go ahead and watch and uh, I'll pause at certain points and, and provide additional uh, comments. Very interested in seeing what the long-term effects of this generation's obsession with feeling valid will be. Because I've seen people say things like, oh, well, this observation might be true, but you shouldn't say it because it could make this person in this specific situation feel like they're not valid. And it's like... Um. So yes, I, I definitely, I have seen that myself in a lot of social media and stuff like that is there is, like they're saying, like the, the feeling of uh, being valid, right? So oftentimes there are certain things that people won't say uh, on like a social media post or whatever because of the people they could offend or that they could uh, hurt. Um, now, some things, sure, uh, there are, especially when it comes to things, I, I understand when it comes to um, certain instances of like a trauma or whatever, sometimes people don't necessarily want to engage with that. Uh, and in some cases, a heads up on the subject matter um, helps those people out which is a little bit. And again, I'm not too worried about that stuff, but it is something where there is sort of this feeling on social media a lot of, well, everyone has to, everyone's feelings are valid, everyone's experience is valid. And if you offend me with this one particular like anecdote that kind of blows up oftentimes into um, like larger, uh, like attacks on people. And then it becomes this sort of, you know, oh, well, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, you should have known. And then there's the whole, you know, it's not my job to educate you meme and all that kind of stuff. So it just kind of gets out of hand very, very quickly. Uh, but let's keep going. We'll see uh, what else she has to say. Okay. So what is being valid? Is it just getting approval from strangers for being yourself? Why do you need that? Like we, and I say we, cause I need to do it too, need to feel comfortable without making it literally everyone else's problem and it's uh yeah I, so what she's saying here is yeah that like your personal happiness is kind of like your responsibility right that you shouldn't be relying on the validation of strangers in order to feel good about yourself that you should be able to um like know yourself and know what you're good at and feel confident in yourself right um but unfortunately uh as people and as human beings we don't um we do need that validation, right? Like we do, people just like to, to group themselves uh, into, into different tribes, if you want to call them tribes or, or social circles, whatever. And we need to feel valid and accepted in those groups. So we'll often, um, like, uh, this is also sort of in the same lines as like virtue signaling, right? Like we will often need to, uh, signal and say out loud, or in this case, like tweet or type about, um, things that we believe that, everybody I know in this group believes, right? So if you are a, um, you know, if you're in favor of raising taxes, right? You can just say you know, into the void effectively, uh, you know, we need to tax the rich. And that signals to all of the people in that crowd that you're one of them, right? And for whatever reason, as human beings, like we feel that we feel necessary, we feel like we have to do this uh, in order to get acceptance. Definitely because of a paranoia that comes from growing up on the internet where any thought you fart out, anything you post has the ability to be completely picked apart, criticized, whatever, not just by the people in your community, but also like the entire world. Or if you're just out in public. Um, so this is true uh, as well, because um, I know back in the day, so when I was growing up and I was in school, things like MySpace were very popular. So MySpace was kind of like a precursor of social media to like um, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. And part of the over and before that, there was like a Live Journal uh, and stuff like that uh, that that people would use. But and the point, the the issue that started start like crop up with a lot of these different social media apps was that um, you never got out of the environment, right? So it used to be before all of this, right? Uh, if, a, if a kid was being bullied or made fun of or whatever at school, that only lasted till the end of the school day, right? The school day was over, you would go home. Uh, and then by the time you got back to school the next day, most people forgot about it unless you had some sort of like issue with a particular person. But uh, that was obvious. That's like a different situation. But so you would, you would get these 
so you get this issue, right? Where you would get, maybe you'd get bullied a little, a little bit or get made fun of or whatever. But then at the end of the day, you went home or it was a Friday, you, you had the whole weekend. And then, you know, when you were back in school, it, people had moved on to something else, right? Short attention spans. But now the issue with like social media has become um, that you never leave that environment because I can, something can happen at school and I can go home and then people are tweeting about it or people are talking about it on Facebook groups or whatever. Um, or like when I was going up uh, MySpace chats and whatever, like, so it never, it never, it never stops. It was that, um, now that everyone has a cell phone, everyone can take pictures and videos and, and audio recordings stuff at any time. And something embarrassing that happens to you at school can continue to follow you um, after that because uh, there's now videos of it or whatever. Anything like goofy or dumb that you do is now there forever uh, and for everyone. So yeah, um, you are kind of in this constant sphere of, or these constant like social interactions because not only do you have to be out in public with people, but also people online can find you. Um, and especially now that social media is so popular, uh, you know, we, we know this, that, that social media in general has just been increased. The usage is just increasing year after year. Um, so you're getting to this point where now, like I can reach, I can post something on Twitter and somebody else can share it on Twitter and, and, re and retweet and all this kind of stuff. So it doesn't just stay in my, in my circle, in people that know me, in my school, my town, whatever. Uh, it can go out there for everybody to, to see. Uh, strangers can see it and you can become, uh, there's like viral videos and everything. Like you can become sort of well-known even without wanting to, right? Because it's just, everyone has just this unlimited access to, um, to, to all of this information, to anything that you, you do or anything that gets posted. Like, and someone decides you're like a little weirdo, they can film you. And now everyone is making, like that can happen. And it's evolved into this condition where anything we say, do, or think has to be like approved by the masses. I'm very interested. Yeah. So that's more so with like, in the same lines of like the tribalism and being in the, the in crowd and whatever these people that you're trying to get approval from. And you, you see this a lot, especially on, on social media, especially on Twitter, like the virtue signaling, right? It's where you uh, will just say something that you know is good and everyone knows it's good, but you say it. Uh, mainly because you're looking for that validation. You're looking for everyone to just know, hey, you're one of the good people. Uh, and of course, that has the opposite effect, right? It can change. You can become the villain very, very quickly. Um, but in the question becomes like, well, what do we do, right? Because we know that every year that goes by, we have more and more people using social media. Um, we have more and more, there, there's correlations found that uh, between younger people, the younger age you start to use social media, the more likely you are um, to show signs of like clinical depression and anxiety and stuff like that. Um, because again, you're, you're never outside, uh, of that social circle. You always, you're always there. Everyone's always watching. Everyone can always read what you wrote and it's there effectively forever. Like you can delete things. You can remove videos or tweets or whatever, but then they're saved somewhere. Somebody screenshotted it, saved it, whatever. Um, and like she said in the video, like there's that constant, um, idea that like you could be being filmed or recorded or had a photo taken or whatever they, they um you know whatever they have and that that's there forever and like she said it's different if like meeting someone in person they're just like a little weird it's like okay you know it used to be um hey you know what that person's a little weird whatever just let them be but now uh you can take that video of them and blast it everywhere and go oh my god look at this weird dude right uh, now of course this also has some like um, other uses. So there's obviously with the rise of like big quotes, like the Karen or whatever, you can have a video of them in public. And those are funny to watch. Sure. Of course, you see someone like freak out in public. Um, you know, but again, it's one of those things where it's okay. Moderation, like, sure. If somebody's like being really outrageous, sure. You can film them. And it's funny. And, and we all kind of learn from it, hopefully and be like, Hey, don't be this person. Um, but it definitely has the potential to go in the other direction of let's collectively sort of like dogpile on this person and make fun of this person. Um, you know, make this per make them the, the expression like make them famous or whatever, where it's like, hey, this person did something really outrageous and or egregious. So let's really hammer it home and make sure that the whole world, people who under normal circumstances would never even know this person exists, uh, let's make sure they hate them too. Uh, you know, you get that a lot of times with people being brigaded, uh, hate raids like on Twitch and things. Like these are all sort of extensions of the same uh, issue. But the the fact still remains that, like I said, they, they we've known we see, we've seen data that shows that rates of depression, anxiety, and stuff are increasing in young people, and you can correlate that to 
increased usage in social media. We see, um, you know, increases in self harm and stuff like that. Like there's, there are so many, there's, there's a lot of great positives to social media. Don't get me wrong. I mean, obviously like it's great. I have, I have family who live, you know, out of state, um, and social media is a really great way to connect with them. Um, but on the reverse, like there's a lot of, of issues with it. Um, so like my recommendation is take breaks. Uh, don't put your entire life online. There are some things that like you can just leave bet for, between you and friends, you and your family, people you know in person. Um, like I said, not everything needs to be put online. Um, and be careful with what you put online. I, you know, I, I try whenever I'm online to always shy away from like name call. I try not to like name call or make fun of people for things. Um, just because again, that can always be turned back on you. So it's like, you always try and kind of project, um, like a certain level of, I guess like decency, right? But anyway, that's all I had. I just wanted to make that short one. Uh, cause it's, like I said, this TikTok really struck me. Um, cause these are things I've kind of thought about for a while. Uh, and then this person just kind of put it into words. Um, I was thinking, so hopefully, uh, again, you can take some, some, um, tips, I guess, taking breaks from social media and all that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will see you all next time.